Welcome back everyone, it's Dabs again with another E4 Nation Roulette. Last game, not very good, I'm gonna admit. Uh, that was Busoga, I think? Yeah. Uh, I got crushed within seven minutes, honestly, of the recording, yeah. But, uh, you know, that's just what this what their series is gonna be. It's gonna see how long it can last as a random nation. So, uh, here we go, guys. We're gonna go... Drum roll. Random nation. One, two, three. Where is it at? This guy. Hmm. Alright, let's hop in. Actually, let me look at the country first. We have a 3 2 2. Uh, we are a Al Tipper Federation, which gives us ooh, some pretty good stats, actually. Uh, we have 34 base development. We have Mesoamerican ideas, which is immediately with our traditions. We have plus 50% chance of new air and plus 25% income from vassals. I know the vassal is important because we are the Nahuti, or Nahutu, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, which is a special religion, which means we have to have vassals to stop like doomsday or something like that. I don't, we'll look more into it. Uh, we also have idea costs, global trade power, diplomatic uh, reputation, national unrest, yearly legitimacy, build cost, and trade. And then once it's all done, we have fort defense. That's nice. Alright, Iron Man mode. Uh, Colima. Uh, I will admit, it would have been a lot better if we were the Aztecs because, you know, they have really good ideas, like really good military ideas. But, you know, these guys seem pretty big, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we're gonna. I'm assuming our strategy is gonna be a rush for that center, for that gold in uh, Mexico and stuff like that. So, let's check out our surroundings. Uh, let's, let's do some rivals first, actually. We can rival the Aztecs, Mixtec, and. Come. We start with one of our provinces not even cored. That sucks. Alright, let's core that bad boy. Uh, our decision is let's go rival over rival. So Zeptek. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Zeptek. Improve relations. I'll go in the rest of the tabs. Let's look how much money we make. Not that much. What's our let's build up our force limit also. We don't even have cav, guys. We are tech one. Alright, well, let's, let's jump this up to speed five, because that's just how I play, as everyone knows. This is one of our rivals, by the way. His allies appear to be quite fucking awesome. Hmm. Alright, well, this will definitely be one of the harder campaigns that I'll probably ever do in the series. Uh, sorry if it's running a bit slow. It's probably the recording. I'm using Open Broadcast Streamer. And uh, I have a really, really fat, sad story. Uh, before I decided to do this nation roulette, I was going to record a Hearts of Iron series as Germany, right? And just do a rush campaign, see how good I can do as a rush campaign. And uh, I got about 30 minutes to, into it, and I did really good. It was thir uh, 1937, I think, uh, near the you know middle of 1937. And I'd conquered all of Poland, Belgium, France. Uh, I was about to you know go on and invade... Uh, Let's do plus 10. I was about to go on and invade uh, GB and uh, even even invade Soviet Union because they're still doing their purge. It was a perfect time. So uh, I was just about to do this and I said, oh, I'm going to take a break, cut the episode here for right now. And I saw and I was streaming. And I was beyond sad. Like, I wasted all that time streaming. I think I started, like, you know, a few viewers, which is pretty nice. But still, I meant for that to be a YouTube video, and it was just like, I felt stupid, and I was very, very sad. Yeah, we're going to spin that three ducats. We have gained the core province of Zakatula. Let's see, it's a seven base development. That's okay, I guess. Uh, wandering Sorcerer. We've received word from one of our provinces that a man claimed to have magical powers is spreading fear and evil rumors there. The local readers are confident that this is a mere charlatan, that they can handle, but many commoners are susceptible to his influence. Is it necessary to catch him? The hunt for the sorcerer begins. Um, let's do this. This sounds funny. It's it's gonna you know give them some bad stuff, but it's bad stuff no matter what. And that sounds really funny. <laughs> the hunt for the sorcerer begins. Uh, now it did give us plus five, but <laughs> countryside sorcerer. 
uh, monetary reforms. Our treasurers are arguing that we need to enact some more reforms in our economical policies. A new master of mint will also be needed to take care of the money. Enact them? Um, we don't actually have any inflation right now. Uh, and it won't hurt to take three. Yeah, that's only like 0.10 ducats. Uh, let's see if we can get a war going with these guys. These guys are allied with Zapotec, though. The guys that I'm planning to try to ally over here. Oh, actually, I can ally them right now. Fucking awesome. Alright, we got the rival or rival also. It's plus 5 prestige and diplo power. Improve our prestige. Alright, I guess we'll not, we're will not we not changing. Uh, oh, we're a republic? Oh, that's cool. Are we the only republic? Wait, it's a republic, right? Public constrictions. Oh, they're not? Election? Please? Yeah, I don't think there's election cycles, but we're a republic. Uh, let's seize the wealth. If there's no election years, then that's fucking awesome, dude. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna try to go to war with these guys, so I'm gonna build a spy network. Uh, because these guys have too big of allies. Uh, actually, they're at war right now, though. Mm, I don't know, it's gonna be risky no matter what. We wanna get it so that Zapotec does not join in. They are, oh, they're really close to actually stopping. Uh, the sorcerer has been caught. Oh, this countryside sorcerer. The sorcerer spreading fear in our lands has been caught. The traditional punishment for a man like him would be to cut his hair, robbing him of his magical powers. As this man has managed to cause much more harm than the average countryside conjurer. <laughs> the average, is that normal in Aztec America? However, perhaps it would be better to punish him by death immediately to pla uh, place it, placate the gods and men alike. Cut his hair or... Let's kill him. Yeah, they'll do a little bit of unrest, but that won't revolt for 41 years. So, I mean... And minus doom, which is always good. Let's see. The military has to sacrifice for one family, casting our nation into chaos. Yeah, we do not want that to happen. So, we want to reform the religion so that we don't have doom anymore. So, yeah, let's, let's look for expansion. Zapotec, you close to... Yeah, you're really close. Keep fighting that war, Zapotec. This will be waiting. What? How big is his army? Aw oh, man, he is a vassal of the Aztecs, really? Aw, oh, dude, that sucks. So who's he at war with? Oh, Splurge. Oh, he's at war with a shit ton of people, though. Wait, so maybe I can declare war on these guys, then. No, because both of his allies have joined. Mm. Oh man, we're really close for Zapotec to not join. I don't think Zapotec would join on either side, though. That's the thing. Yeah, there's no way in hell he'll join on my side, though, because he's fighting in a war. You know, I don't actually need to fabricate claims. I don't know why I have this. Because we have a special uh, CD called War of the Flowers, which, uh, you know, it's like a tradition. Like, uh, I live in Texas, so I know about this a lot. Well, no, I'm not a historian about it, but we have a um, Battle of the Flowers thing. It's where, uh, it's basically about the doom, about the religion. So, mm. yeah, so let's do this. Let's, let's see if we can get anything out of this. He still has a, oh, okay, most of that is Zapotec. Oh, at least 4K. So he still has a 6K army out there somewhere, plus the Aztec. So we actually have the advantage. Oh, that's going to be a losing battle for us, though. Uh, I'm going to retreat back. I'm going to retreat back here. I'm going to put a general on this. And then I'm going to consider buying some mercenaries, maybe. Let's do that, general. I'd suck. Uh, I'm going to go for it, man. My leader's better. I'm going to put him back in the capital and restore for a bit. Apparently, everyone's declaring war on this guy. Fucking awesome. Money is always good, but prestige is even better. Alright, let's go and try to take that province again. We're going to wait for a defensive battle. Oh, his capital is actually being sieged currently. Oh, look, his army is sitting right there ready. Uh, 
Oh, we barely won that battle. All right, let's do Kalima. Yeah, that sounds fine. Let's hope that this war does not destroy us, guys. All right, let's just take this province. Oh, it looks like their capital is being seized, so there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can flat out take provinces. I'm not gonna try to vassalize anything. I'm not in a power or a position of power yet. Uh, that was a really close war, guys. Mm. Okay, now we have to wait for his capital to be seized out. And then we have to personally siege out his capital, I think. Let's see, how much money are we making? 0.23. That's an awesome. Will he accept it even if it's not me siege me? No, I won't. So who is this? Mixed tech. Alright, so I'm going to war with the Aztecs and this dude. So, I'm definitely going to want to try to take these two provinces out of this because, well, it's a 5, it's a 7, but it's still merely adding 50% of my base tax to it. That would be really, really helpful. Mm. Oh, there's an army coming. Oh, let's hop in this battle. He's fighting me. He, I think he thinks that Zapotec is on his side whenever he moves because that army is connected to it. Oh, stack wide. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, boom, boom. His army's out. He should surrender to his enemies soon. He is literally at war with almost all. So, all of Central Mexico is uh, in flames right now. The great Aztec poet. The spoken words has always had a specific. Uh, special significance to our people. Songs and. Uh, Recitations feature prominently in all our religion and profane cer I'm a really bad reader, guys. I'm sorry. Profane ceremonies and even our highest leaders are referred as the Tlatones speakers. Oral poetry is therefore one of the most sacred forms of art and one of the few accepted ways in which a person can express dissatisfaction, anxiety, and even doubt about fate it's itself without angering the gods. Recently, an immensely popular Nahuatl poet has arrived in Kalima. Praising our city and the people by criticizing the Teloni himself. Uh, he pleases the gods and the people. Alright, so I hope that these guys... Mixtech. Is this Mixtech? Mixtech, who is somewhere here. Good Omens, yeah. These guys right here. I'm hoping that they peace out soon. So that... Ooh, yeah, if they take the capital... Then we'll end up already controlling the capital and we'll have a higher war score and we'll be able to peace out of the war. Who are they in war with though? The mixed Texan subjugation of Tulampka. Oh, okay, so they're gonna go for a full on vassalization. So we might actually end up in a second war here. Let's see, dude, does he have any allies? He has allies of this guy, but it's him in a war by himself, okay. Oh, we're reaching around 100 ducats. That's actually pretty good for our uh, our sh shabby, shitty uh, economy. Mm, I could lose that 10 prestige I earned earlier. Uh, Prince Zapotec, my ally, just getting his ass beat. Uh, oh, that helps. Uh, since we are Central American, our culture is crazy expensive. Uh, we're going to try to westernize as soon as we can over the Europeans get here. But that will be if we can actually, you know, survive that long. Uh, it's going to be really scary because the Europeans are going to be several techs higher than us. Uh, it's kind of weird, but like one of my funnest games is playing as a uh, horde. Because I think, honestly, hordes are one of like, the strongest things in the game. Because they have the raiding feature. If you just conquer and conquer and conquer the raiding feature, you can stay up to European standards and technology. Because, like, it's, it's really fun. It's a really fun game. Uh, okay, so I don't know why no one is peacing out here. Everyone has a really good war score. Okay, well. Okay, I I have the second best. Oh, see, these guys have... Oh, okay, so everyone's trying to subjugate each other. That's actually really funny. Uh, I don't think this war will end, then. Unless... Let's see, will he join against me? Yeah, both these guys will join against me. I'm gonna declare war on this guy since this guy's at war with everyone else. Nope, I don't have the TV since I'm not next to him. Let's see how this guy. Yeah, everyone will join against me. Would Zapotec join with me with this one? 
Whoa, Zapotec is their vassal? Oh man, that's dirty. Well, shit. Alright, well, what can we do here? We can't vassalize. We have enough points, but they won't accept the vassalization. They're close to it, though. But why would I want to vassalize them when they're literally at war with everyone else? That'd be really dumb. Because I know I couldn't win this war. I know I couldn't. Right? Yeah. So what can I do? Because I need to get something on this war. I don't want just money, though. I want actual land, but... Maybe I should take one for the team. Hmm. Because everyone's trying to subjugate these two nations. Everyone in Central America is trying to subjugate these two guys, Tlumpka and the Aztecs. But everyone's splitting it up so evenly that they actually don't have enough war score to actually finish it. So I'm thinking I should take one for the team, dude. Honestly. Um, I, I know none of them will. How we just sit out for, for like a year, see what happens. <sighs> Sorry, I'm stretching. Uh, a gift to the state. Good governance would sometimes prompt the nobility and businessmen of the realm to donate cash to the treasury out of pure patriotism, or in exchange for the sales of transfer of honorary titles and positions. Uh, let's just spend it generously because prestige is always a good thing. Prestige gives us a ton of stuff, and I like that morale. Okay. See, I'd want, I want this land bad. Like, this would be godly, but we don't own the capital, and there's no way of getting the capital because they can't spawn troops to actually unsiege that. So I'm thinking. I can vassalize them. I can vassalize them. But it would be like... Okay, so what would happen? What happened to the Aztecs? See, this, this, like... If I did that, it'd call in me in a war against... Boom, 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 boom. And these guys don't actually have any land. There are any land, any, uh... Units. So unless I just won like defensive battle after a defensive battle, how much mercenaries could we buy? Because that honestly seems like the only way to actually get out of this mess. Alright. I think I'm gonna try something crazy. Let's get 16 mercenaries. We're gonna take some loans. We're definitely gonna take some loans, but. It If it works, if it works, then we'll by far be one of the most powerful people in Central America. So let's just let's just go for it. Let's get some more money out of it. Let's go down to forty. All right, there. All right, so who are we at war now? Are these my my vessels? No, they're just a free person now. Okay. All right, let's go try to catch that stack. Oh shit, that was a bad, 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 bad move. It's gonna have to be defensive battles. Actually, we'll see if I can piece out people. What do they want?
Tara skin requires the vassalization of Tara skin. That's them though. They want me to vassalize them? That's dumb. Alright, let's see. What can we do with mixed tech? What do you want? They want me as a vassal. Okay. What do you want? You'll peace out now. Okay, that'll be 9,000 men I don't gotta deal with. Okay. Shit. Alright, I might have to become a vassal. <laughs> Let's see, can I... Actually, if I can just seize this shit out, hold on. If I can get a positive war score with mixed tech and kick them out. That'd be fucking awesome. Not gonna lie, that'd be fucking awesome. Let's see, let's, uh, okay, they're gonna finish a siege, and they're definitely gonna come over here and fight me. It's a 23 stack. I have a 16 stack once all these mercenaries get healed up. Uh, we're gonna take a lot of loans. That's uh, we, there's a chance that we could go bankrupt. That's a definite possibility. All right, we we have. Okay. Ooh. All right. So. Oh. <laughs> if we can win this, if we can win this, dude, I'm gonna take so many loans, but it's it'd be so worth it. I really hope they come to fight me here. Okay, no, I can't go save the Aztecs. I gotta seize this down. I gotta get war score before they force a peace on us. I gotta get a fort, dude. If they can't come fight me though, their army would be would lose. This is a definite a definite possibility of winning. I'm gonna need to take as much money as I can. Because I'm losing so 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 much. If I can make them a vassal, oh my god, that'd be amazing. I really need to get the siege done before they come out. So they're gonna force a piece on us. We're negative ninety-three percent. Fuck. Okay. Good. 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 If we can go fight that army, that'd be really good. If we can fight that army before that one comes. Okay. No, they're there. I doubt my vassals would come and help me since my vassal is disloyal. Yeah. 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 Alone. Alright, let's see. Oh, we're supposed to do it, dude. Nice, 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 nice. Let's take up this army over here. Nice, 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 if I can unseize my capital, then this is a definite, definite, uh, victory. Fuck, dude. Why, Aztecs? Why? Alright, negative 95. This is, like, on the edge of a knife, dude. Uh, we're definitely gonna go bankrupt. This is, like, that's, this isn't even a joke. We're gonna go bankrupt, probably, but... Alright, they're gonna unseize that, but if I can unseize this... Choose Zapotec is over. Tell me if they broke our line since they got vassalized. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go to my capital. If you're gonna unseize that, that's okay. He'll probably come try to fight me in my capital. No, he won't fight me because I have the numbers, but. Oh, dude, if he can. If the Aztecs can take out that dude's capital, or at least a castle, then I can unseize that and. Or not unseize that. I can uh, piece him out and it'll literally just be Tarskin. I know, I, I can't end this episode until I finish this war. Even just like a white piecing, honestly, would be good with me. Alright, let's see who joins me in this battle. What would this battle be? What is this? Highlands. I could fight this. I think I won that battle. Yeah, I did. If I can follow that up and stack like that, that'd be awesome. Nope, they're gonna go up north, but looks like the Aztecs and 
other dudes are gonna fight that battle and win. Oh man, if I can, oh my god. Okay, they got they got stacked. They got stacked. <laughs> this is the most clutch war. Oh no, I need to get that on me first. Like now, go 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 go. This is honestly the most clutch war, dude. <laughs> ah shit, though those guys are probably gonna come and ruin my fun. Who are they from? Okay, they're, they're those guys over there. Ah, uh, nah. See, now that I'm winning, though, he's he's trying to peace out. Uh-uh, that ain't gonna happen. All right, let's un let's un seize this out first, and then we'll move this army down south to that army and stack it. Not stack it, but at least you know take it out. Oh my god, dude! I can't believe I just did that. We're gonna go bankrupt soon, probably. But <laughs> how many loans do we have? Yeah, bankruptcy's. Oh shit, dude! Negative thirteen gold. Forty-two loans. Oh my god! See, they're white piecing us now. They're like, oh dude, you're gonna you're gonna beat us. Like, yeah, I know I'm gonna beat you. Oh man, that was such a good power play. All right, let's go beat this army. Let's unseize my capital, and then we win. Come on. Boom. Shit, how much of a how good of a fort is this? All right, we have to take out. We have to unseize Mexico first, and then we'll be able to do it. But I'm vassalizing in this dude. Ah. Oh, okay. We'll take money. Alright, I'm literally disbanding all of these. Like, fucking army. I don't need it right now. I literally have truces with everyone. Uh, who's this? This dude, this dude. Alright, guys. That was a good, really, really, really good first episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, please, you know, if you did continue watching that'd be a great uh you know just made me really happy i guess and uh yeah uh, i know i'm bad at this game uh, it will get better i promise though but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and uh peace out